Just like water can be three entities in one of solid, liquid, and steam, God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are a trinity of three persons in one. Top of the morning to you. When we read 1 John chapter 5 with the eyes of love and a firm determination to get to know God better, John defines those who believe Jesus is the Christ as born-again children of God. The proof of this relationship is spelled out in verse 2-3, through three, when we love God and obey His commands. When we obey His commands with a good attitude, it is proof we love God. John also encourages us in verse 4, Whatever is born of God is victorious over the world through our faith that Jesus is the Son of God. Holy Spirit bears witness to this truth that Jesus came to earth by water, in other words, baptism, and blood of the cross. Verse 7 says that in heaven there are three witnesses in one, Father, the Word, which is Jesus the Son, and Holy Spirit. On earth there are three witnesses as well, Spirit, water, and blood. And they all three agree in unity. Verse 10 says that we who are born again are eyewitnesses with a testimony about Jesus as well. Verse 11 says that this is the testimony God gave us, eternal life in Jesus. Verse 12 further clarifies, he who possesses the Son has eternal life. One of the benefits of a born-again child of God, verse 14, other than eternal life, is that in Jesus we are confident that uh, when we ask anything according to God's will, he listens, hears, and answers us. Verse 18, we know anyone born of God does not practice committing sin, for Jesus protects us from the wicked one or the devil from laying a hand on us. Verse 19 tells us this evil one has power over the whole world of unbelievers. One of the reasons Jesus comes to earth in verse 20 was he gave us understanding to come to know him better and understand that that uh, we are in Jesus, the one true God and life eternal. What could possibly mess this up? Verse 21, idols. We are to keep away from idols as things that take the place of God in our heart. A word of encouragement. As born-again children of God, when we received Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we overcame the world system through our faith. That means that we are not subject to following the world's ways of doing things. When we believe and obey God's commands, we are free from our old lives of practicing sin. Holy Spirit helps us keep from idols or things that we give our attention to in this world more than God. Through Jesus, we have overcome. Have a great day.